Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. Today we're talking about the ISTJ personality type. And ISTJ is the type that is known to be introverted, sensory, thinking and judging. That means you're dependable, you're reliable, you are strong and secure in yourself, and you tend to take a rational and logical approach to life. The ISTJ personality type is one of the 16 personalities discussed in the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. And today I'm going to talk about how the ISTJ works, what the ISTJ in a state of flow looks like, and what the ISTJ behavior and lifestyle tends to be like. So first of all, let's talk about the behavior of the ISTJ. ISTJs are typically described as the most dependable of all the 16 personality types. They are the people that you can come to when you need advice or when you have a problem that needs to be resolved or fixed. The ISTJ tends to honor their sense of duty and get energy and flow from having a sense of duty and responsibility. That means it's important to you as an ISTJ to know what you can do and what your purpose or role in a group or in society is. How do you contribute to this uh, mess and chaos that is life? ISTJs tend to be people that seek to create order and structure around them. So while other people might be messy and spontaneous and flexible, ISTJs try to create some kind of healthy structure and order. And so the ISTJs tend to be described as self-disciplined. ISTJs are known to honor promises and to stick to and do what they said they would. ISTJs are also the most consistent in their hobbies and interests and passions and one of the types that is the least likely to change their passion or change their hobby or to do something different throughout the years. ISTJs tend to enjoy finding a healthy set of routines and traditions and so they tend to also be described as people that are slightly on the colder side. Yeah, ISTJs are sometimes seen as a bit cold and a bit... Uh, uh, stuck in their own world. ISTJs are not uh, antisocial types, but are definitely people that take a more logical and critical approach to life. ISTJs tend to find pleasure in work and in having work to do and in being challenged by work to do better. ISTJs enjoy being effective and optimizing their routines and thinking of ways to improve the way they do things. ISTJs uh, desire effectiveness. Now, let's talk about the cognition of the ISTJ personnel type. ISTJs are known as introverted sensing types, similar to the ISFJs that I talked about in my previous video. ISTJs are people that engage with and prefer to have a healthy set of routines. Introverted sensing starts with the details and then expands outwards and considers different ramifications and possibilities of these details. ISTJs think about experience. What have I learned from a situation in the past? What do I know about this task? What, uh, how can I prepare ahead of this situation? What kind of skills or talents or what kind of knowledge could help me address this situation? ISTJs are therefore people that seek to have knowledge and to be knowledgeable. They are people that want to know the answers to things and want to be known as the most studious and prepared and well-read of all the personality types. ISTJs are also people that uh, desire responsibility and value responsibility. ISTJs would, um, in a typical sense, struggle with change and with going outside of their responsibilities or doing new things. ISTJs prefer to have responsibility and dislike to have change. And so a lot of ISTJs struggle with extroverted intuition. ISTJs can feel like the world is changing too fast and that things are happening too quickly and that they have no sense of control about what is going to happen to them or to the world around them. ISTJs might fear that they are becoming irrelevant or that people uh, don't need their skills anymore or that their talents are not worthwhile to the tribe. And this is something that is important to the ISTJ, to know that they can be of use to society, to know that they are effective contributing citizens to the world. So as an ISTJ, it's a challenge to constantly think of how to keep your uh, knowledge up to date when necessary, but also how to find ways to implement and apply your experience and expertise and wisdom to solve even problems of the future. Because many of the things that you learned are and will always be relevant and will always be important, even as society changes. Now let's talk about the values of the ISTJ personnel type. 
ISTJs are one of the types that value competition more. And ISTJs value having a healthy amount of competition. As long as it's just and as long as it's fair. ISTJs want the system to be fair and they want everyone to have an equal chance to succeed. But they do want to reward skill and they do want to reward competence. They believe that those that are doing the hardest amount of work and that are putting in the most effort should have the highest chance to succeed. And so ISTJs tend to dislike the idea of luck. And well, in rather, they favor those that succeed through hard work and effort. And it's important to them to believe that the society rewards and gives hardworking people a chance to thrive and succeed in the world. Beyond that, ISTJs tend to value tradition. ISTJs value having and protecting nature or having a conservative approach to life. That means the ISTJ tends to focus on protecting traditions, protecting a common sense of identity in the tribe or in the nation or in the culture or group that you are a part of. ISTJs value these things, but that does not necessarily mean that they cannot be liberal or conservative or to have any kind of political influence or affiliation. It more applies to your personal life and how you want your personal life to be structured. Now, finally, let's talk about the temperament of the ISTJ. The temperament of the ISTJ is quite stoic. The ISTJ is self-disciplined and uh, does not leave a strong impression to the outer world. ISTJ tends to be polished and clean and organized and tends to compose themselves and their emotions. They avoid outbursts of emotion and they avoid reckless displays of action. Being introverts, they prefer to take things in a slow-paced and cautious and methodical manner rather than rushing or stressing to the finish line. The ISTJ beyond that likes to have a steady and clear plan and a set of goals and they want to have a method or a formula that they can use or a strategy that they can implement to make sure that they get the right result. ISTJs on the other hand tend to struggle to adapt and they tend to struggle in chaos. If there is no methodology, no structure or no rules to follow, the ISTJ might find themselves confused or a bit stressed. So, as an ISTJ, it's important to focus on self-control. The ISTJ believes more in self-control than in controlling your external surroundings. Most ISTJs spend more time uh, creating a healthy routine for themselves than trying to impose a routine on other people. And that's important because that's a common misunderstanding. There's a common misunderstanding that ISTJs and ISFJs are controlling, but in general, ISTJs and ISFJs are more self-controlling than they are outwardly controlling. And that is also because they are introverted types. Finally, let's talk about the ISTJ in a flow state versus the ISTJ in a stress state. What I've found is that ISTJs can be widely different depending on if they are in flow or whether they are in stress. Due to stress, ISTJs might feel forced to create a persona or to uh, show a character that is adaptable and spontaneous and open for anything. Many ISTJs feel forced to uh, be compromising and to compromise their structure and their routine to fit in in this modern and changing world. While effectiveness coaches at your workplace or entrepreneurs or uh, optimizers might come in from year to year and shake things up and constantly improvise and create new structures, you as an ISTJ, you tend to prefer to have and to work from a, your position of strength. You believe that it's through long-term effort and consistent work that a person achieves success, not by constantly changing things up every hour or giving up too easily. So ISTJs get and enjoy uh, sticking on the track. Then uh, they prefer this over the idea of compromising or changing things up and constantly uh, thinking of new things they could do. And that's also why ISTJs tend to be one of the types that finish last in a sense, because the ISTJ tends to be a person that takes their time to achieve success and that works through things consistently and deliberatively. The ISTJ is not a rush, in a rush, but their hard work will pay off. The longer you spend on something, the more of an expert you become and the more knowledgeable you become. And so you're going to find that over time you're going to have a massive competitive advantage over everyone else around you. Your experience and your wisdom and your past work is going to eventually commend you and is going to make you stand out in front of everyone that has uh, changed their career 15 times and jumped from different things every day. 
so don't give up and don't feel like you're uh, irrelevant or that uh, you're too stuck in your ways. If you have something you enjoy and if you feel like you enjoy something that it matters to you, let yourself enjoy that and let yourself feel good about that. Thank you so much for watching and feel free to let your comments about the ISTJ in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching and see you all in the next video.